Cameras trained on one man. He's back from injury and raring to go. And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Emery Laporte plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Throw into Manchester City. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him. The question was, would he feature, would he not? Well, not only is he in the squad, but he's actually been deemed fit enough to start this one, Stuart. Well, having been out for so long, he'll be slightly nervous. Will I be fit enough? Will I play well or will it go again? They're the questions he's going to be asking himself throughout this game. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Holland. Body on the line. Paqueta. And just hearing ball in the net at Stamford Bridge. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the opener here with 21 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And intercepts again. Lukoko. It was a successful day at the office for Manchester City in their last game as they won against Manchester United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, that 2-0 victory at home was not as easy as the scoreline. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. <laughs> this to make it 1-0. And a goal! He was composure personified. And he's done his job from the spot. Well, the action underway once again, and the onus is on West Ham to find a response now. Ings. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. A City free kick forthcoming. De Bruyne Neymar waiting to take it on oh tremendous header that time but the goalkeeper was there corner to City as they look for more and he takes on the shot and the keeper getting across to stop it fired in by Neymar and the problem not completely solved Mares. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, as you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And there goes the whistle for half. So back in business, the second half underway. And the Hammers' difficulties were there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Holland. 
And he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's West Ham United facing Southampton. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And now, passing it through. Now, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. So, a half an hour remaining. The possession game just not working properly today. Spot on with that tackle. And Gomez. Well, he didn't miss by very much at all. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Yes. Holland. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened well we have 20 minutes left in this game it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think Maxwell Cornet, Skamaka, and a fine tackle. An incisive pass. Oh, good save. A change in the offing for City. And short it is. Can he finish? Terrific block. Corner once more. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 26, Riyad Mahrez. And played short. Off the pitch, number 37, Phil Fulham. Cross fired over. And an effective clearance. James. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And the substitution will occur now. Gives it a go. And just over the bar, albeit narrowly. Holland. And sadly, quite a bit off target in the end. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Declan Rice. And that is that. Two English clubs who, at the start of every season, put huge pressure on... And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea.
Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Emerick Laporte in central defence. Neymar starts with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And Aubameyang making the move with the ball at his feet. What's he going to do next? Well, I must say, that goes down as a very disappointing effort. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kalidou Koribali plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Hakim Ziyech plays with Christian Pulisic out wide. And the main threat in attack today should be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. In with a chance! The net is steering him in the face. And off the post that time. It was a successful day at the office for Manchester City in their last game as they won against West Ham United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, Derek, they've been excellent so far and deserve to be top. If they can keep everybody fit, stay focused and perform as they have done, they'll be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. This should be good today. Kevin De Bruyne. Now with De Jong. Well, as you can see, City have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need oh, to... Oh, Stewart's a chance! He can't hold on to it. Well, they survived the attack. Possession seeded by City here. Ziyech. And the ball played over from the flank. But meat and drink to the pot. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by. We just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep him at bay. And they do like to press whenever they can. A very good tackle. Ziyech Walker and the cross not quite accurate enough De Bruyne well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass and there we have it that And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Can he convert? Oh, he saved it well. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Free kick to Chelsea. Ziyech. The first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final will be live with us here on EA TV. It's Manchester City facing Manchester United. That will certainly be an interesting first leg, but how will each team approach it? They won't want to go into the second leg behind, so it should be a top-quality game. Walker. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. I'm offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Time for a change then. Neymar. Now Holland. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Now let's join Alex Scott because I hear a goal has gone in in the Southampton match. It's another goal for 
for West Ham United. The goalkeeper will be looking at himself on that one. He was totally out of position and it was an easy finish. They're pulled ahead by two with 64 minutes played. Here's Alex. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well, opting for the short corner. And the keeper making sure nothing untoward happened. Twenty minutes to go in this one. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Chelsea taking on Leeds United. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. But a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a second goal for the Gunners. It's all level again at 2-2 with 76 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again. Foden's cross really does invite somebody to go and attack it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And no problems at all for the keeper. Leroy Zane. Beautifully disguised ball. On full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. And collected tidily. And there's the final whistle. It goes into the books as a City victory. We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup, and the stage is set. Hello, and welcome to our coverage on what is a very soggy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the Cup. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to... Erling Haaland! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Corner kick played in. Well, still an issue here. Oh, it might be. Mares. Just couldn't capitalise there. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Nathan Ake oh, plays. Derek, what a moment this could be. And a goal! The opening statement of this semi final. How important could that prove to be? Oh, 
So back in action. And it's up to United now to be inventive. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Oh, tremendous vision. Fred. Determined defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Neymar. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break. And the advantage is with City. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, he may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. Fred. Encouraging stuff from United. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Fred. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. Yusuf Amukoko. Holland. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Borja Iglesias. Chance to run at them. And players waiting in the centre. And in with a real chance. And it's in. A goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Mares. Now he must favour the cross. Firing it in. It's going to be United's free kick. And that is going to be all. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A super tackle, and they've won possession. A chance, maybe, from the wide position. And Manchester United might be able to profit here. Yeah, corner it is. And the short option preferred.
The wait is over. There are few... And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away. It's there for him! And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. So, Boss Loy. Envies, back with Werner, the keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Good visualisation and execution, oh he's really opened them up here, he can't hold on to it. Danger averted for now. Well City thought that was the moment they were going to take the lead. But what an excellent save from the keeper. He's just kept his team in it here. Well, we used to think of Timo Werner as the classic counter-attacking forward, but he's a lot more versatile now. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's certainly weighed in with his fair oh, share of Stuart, goals. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot of that. Well, visionary passing. Holland, brilliant save. Fired in by Neymar. Offside, a tight one. Not the best challenge, free kick. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. And there's the delivery. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. This might have potential. Neymar crosses it in. Thumps clear. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Chances on. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, fair play to him. He took it on, but off target in the end. Neymar makes his way forward with purpose. Options around him. Oh, it was close, but he's put it over. So one minute of stoppage time. He's in here. Well, the post getting in the way there. So the whistle then. We're up into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Giving the ball away. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And Kunku. 
Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Holland. Neymar. Can he put them ahead? said and done Stuart he wasn't a million miles away no he wasn't because he generates so much power from that sort of distance his technique is brilliant well, we have 30 minutes to go Nkunku a chance to whip it in oh could be and how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Got a kick played in. Well, he made great contact with that one. But the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? So underway again here, one nil the score. Dembele. Dembele. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper had the measure of it. Who can they pick out? It could be up for grabs. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? This looks promising. Oh, a clinical counter-attack and so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. And City with the ball again. Holland takes it on. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. So a personnel change then. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Fine work from City to win the ball back. Well, City are almost over the line, but not quite yet. Stewart, interested in your assessment of their performance. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacks. Oh, Stewart's a chance! Oh, what a fine save, and a timely one, Stewart. Well, that does give them some hope, because that would have been the end. Superb block. And there it is! Full time! Manchester City, Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester City well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they've worked so hard to win this trophy they've been fantastic and you can feel the emotion it's not